Rachel. And so am I. And welcome, welcome to, to Fun, Fun Day Sunday Kids. Woo! Woo! So many coats. <laughs> no, I don't like wearing coats, but you must wear your coats, guys, when it's cold outside, because otherwise you're going to get poorly. But I just don't like coats. <sighs> Actually, a lot of people know me as Rachie No Coat. Rachie No Coat? Yeah, I've got some <laughs> friends who know me as Rachie No Coat. Rachie No Coat. Well, this cold how... weather makes me wear my coat. That's how you can know the difference between us. Rachie No Coat and just Rach. Rachie <laughs> loves coats. <laughs> Rachie loves coats. Yes. Anyway, so to start off today, we are going to tell you our favourite jokes because we thought with the news this week, things have got a little bit rubbish again and some places are on a bit more lockdown and here we've seen some more restrictions. We're not the worst, but we've seen some more yeah. and everyone's a little bit grumpy about it. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. so we thought that we'd tell our favourite jokes. So, for Funny Sunday Kids this morning, we have got Rachel Jones, also known as Rachel Noco, to tell us her favourite joke this morning. Over to you, Rachel. Okay, so mine's a knock knock joke. Go on then. So, knock knock, who's there? Scold. Scold who? Scold outside, let me in! Oh! <laughs> That's why, because I didn't have a coat on. That is a really good joke from Rachel Jones, thank you very much. Okay, so over to Rachel Woolley. What is your favourite joke? Well, mine is also a knock knock joke. Oh. Knock knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. <laughs> so, I hope that you found those slightly funny and we would love, 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 love for you to send your favourite jokes in too. Yeah, you can send them to the email address at the bottom of the screen. And we will show them next week or we can read them out if you don't want to video yourselves telling them. But we want to just fill this time with fun and joy and jokes are a great way to do that. Yep, why don't you join in and help us make everyone else happy. Yeah. Help us bring some joy to the world of YouTube and to everyone who watches this and make people laugh and smile. Yeah, so we look forward to hearing your jokes. Well, we hope you enjoyed that time of telling really, really funny jokes. But now the puppets are going to remind us about what we've learned. Right? Hey! We're here to help you remember what we learned last week, aren't we, Jess? Yeah, and also to remind ourselves. Yeah, because it, it was a really, really important message actually last week, don't you think? I think it was too, if, if, if I could remember what it was. Can't you remember? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, we're trying to help these remember. So, I tell you what, I remember. So, I can start us off, and then when you start to remember, you can join in. Yeah, that sounds like a really good plan. So, last week, our friends, Rachel and Rachel, they told us the parable of the sower. The Do you sower. remember? The sower is a farmer who was sowing his seeds, so just oh, scattering them. Oh, that was! Yeah, he was scattering his seeds in the field in all different places, so... Yeah, and how there was the... There was the... the some seeds fell on the path. Yeah. Some seeds fell on uh, good soil. Yeah. Some seeds fell on rocky soil. Yeah. And some seeds fell where there was weeds and thistles. Yeah, that's it. So you do remember. I do remember. I just needed your help a little bit to yeah. remind me. So can you remember why it was so important? I think, wasn't it that the, the seeds that the farmer was throwing was like 
an image of the gospel, that actually when people talk about Jesus and how he loves them and died for them and, and rose again and we're forgiven and, and that stuff, that actually they're like seeds into people's hearts and, and different different hearts, different people may react differently to, 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 to the gospel. Yeah, that's right. And it's important for us to remember that so that when we're telling people all about Jesus and everything is done for us, that we remember that some people might listen a little bit, some people might just not be interested at all, and other people might listen but get distracted or listen and really, really take hold of what we're saying and what God has done for them. Yeah. But there was another thing that was important for us to remember, Jess. Yeah, uh, uh, that was about us. Yeah, about our hearts, about how, even when we are Christians, not everything is always great, and sometimes things are a bit difficult or a bit sad, but it's important that we remember that we need to keep hearts like good soil, and we need to keep our friendship with Jesus and listen to him and read the Bible, because to help us have hearts like good soil, so that we can continue to follow him and do the things that he has that are best for us, and live in the way that he says is best. Yeah, you know, I think this is actually really, really encouraging because, you know, at school, not a lot of people believe in God and they might think that we're a bit silly for believing in him. Yeah. But we've got to remember that different people will have different hearts and actually it's nothing to do with us, it's to do with them. Yeah. But we should never stop telling people or showing people God's love. That's it, guys. Never give up sharing God's love with those around you that don't know him. Yeah. So, I'm really looking forward to find out what we're learning this week. Me too. Let's go. Right, so, for this week's Something Fun, we are going to play some competition games, racing each other. So, as you can see, we've got some after eights here. So, we're mm. going to play the after eights game. Is that where I can just see how many I can shove in my mouth? Oh, well done. Well, you are welcome to because I don't like them, but not until we finish playing. Oh. So this, and this game, this is where I'm sure you've all seen it before, where you put one right on your head and you just have to use the muscles in your face to wriggle it down and get it into your mouth. And the first person to get it into their mouth is the winner. Mm. So the second game we're going to play is the Malteser game. So we've got some gloves and we are going to throw them at each other <laughs> and see if we can get them into our mouths and how many and see who wins. So we've got some gloves so that we don't have to actually touch the Maltesers mm. and we'll see who wins guys. Yeah. So are we going to go with after eights first? After eights first. Let's see how much chocolate we end up getting on our face. <laughs> right. Let's, Let's take one. one. Place it on our foreheads. seconds and in that time we're going to see how many Maltesers Rach can actually catch. Now the sad thing is with this game is that if she misses them or when it's my turn if I miss them they're wasted. Yeah. So try your best to catch as many as you can. Are you ready? Yes! Right. So
There once was a man who gathered his servants to ask them to look after his stuff because he was going away. To one of the servants he gave five talents. To the next he gave two talents. And to the last one he gave one talent. Then the man went away. Then the man who received five talents went at once and traded them and he made five talents more. Then the man who had two talents did the same and made two talents more. But the man who had only received one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. And after a long time, the master came back and settled accounts with his servants. He who had received five talents came back with ten. And he who had two talents came back with two more. And the master said to them both, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little, so I will set you over much. The servant who had been given one talent said to his master that he knew that he had been a hard man and he was scared. So he hid the talent and now he still just has one and gave it back to him. So the master said to his servant who only had one talent, you lazy, lazy servant. Why weren't you like the others and invested it and made more? So the master took that one talent from his servant and gave it to the servant who had 10. And then he sent the lazy servant away. in the form of tea bags. Yeah, <laughs> improvisation right there. But the story isn't about how God gives us tea bags and no. we have to multiply tea bags, is it, Rachel? It's not, no, no. It's about how God gives us talents and gifts and actually how he gives us, sometimes he can give us just the small things, but if we really invest our time in the things that God gives us, then he knows he can trust us with more, doesn't he? Exactly. Every single one of you, even us, has been given gifts and talents and opportunities by God. Now, they might be small or they might be really big, but God is watching what we do with them. You have gifts. You have talents given by God. And he wants to see you use them. And when he sees that you use them, he says, well done, good and faithful servant. Here, have more, have more opportunities. Yeah, and how cool is that? Because when we use the gifts that God has given us, we can bring glory to him. Exactly. And show other people all about God through using our gifts and talents. We need to not be like the one servant who just buried his talent yeah. and ignore it, think I'm too scared to do that, I'm too worried, what if I get it wrong, what if I do it wrong, what if I fail? Mm -hmm. We need to not think and feel that way, we need to trust God and say, well, God's given me this gift, he's given me this opportunity to share something and I'm going to take it and trust that he will do good with it. Yeah, and the important thing is, is to trust God and to know that what he has given you, 
He has given you especially for you. And that's what you need to work on and not worry about the gifts that you see in other people. Trust God on the gifts that he has given especially for you and you work on them because you are special to God and he has given you those to bring glory to him. Yeah. He wants to use you. Hey guys, so now it's time for this week's prayer. Now, the reason why me and Rach make these videos for you is that the heart of our church is to share God's love and what God can do for you and to help you learn and to encourage you to share with other people. So there's a prayer in the Bible that fits with that and I want to pray that over you guys today. So this prayer was prayed by Paul to a church in Philippi just under 2,000 years ago. Can you believe it? And it still stands now. So here we go. This is my prayer for you, that your love will grow more and more, that you will have knowledge and understanding with your love, that you will see the difference between good and bad, and that you will choose the good, that you will be pure and without wrong for the coming of Christ, that you will be filled with good things produced in your life by Christ to bring glory and praise to God. Amen. Yay. That is the end of this week's Funday Sunday Kids already. What? <coughs> I know it goes so quick. It does. But we hope that you've had a good time. Yeah. But we know that you've had a good time this week from last week's Something Fun, don't we? Yeah, because we got some photos of some of you guys building some forts at home. It's so cool. Why don't you check them out now? pictures yeah we do so please keep sending your pictures in any videos or if you don't want your photos on YouTube but you would like to share what you've been up to with us you can always just send us a quick email and we can even read it out for you yeah we'd love that to happen especially we'd love to see your photos of or videos of the after eight yeah, to see how much chocolate you get stuck on your face. Yeah, it's yeah. quite fun. I am very impressed that I won. I'm not going to lie. So I don't even like after eight, but I still won. <laughs> but anyway, guys, as we say, that is it for this week. So we're going to say goodbye and we hope and we pray for you that you have a great week ahead. And as we always say, if there's any prayer needs for you guys or for your family or your friends, then please do send us an email and we will always remember to keep you in prayer. Yeah. But until then, see you next time. Bye. Bye, Christ. What is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you were doing so well. Come on, Rach. Your life by Christ to bring Gawley. <laughs> Bring <laughs>